the only questions I'm going to answer is 5.2.1, 5.3.2, and lastly 5.4, because I think they're the most difficult questions. So let's take a look at 5.2.1. We have cos of x to the power 4 plus sine of x to the power 2 multiplied by cos of x to the power 2. Everything divided by 1 plus sine of x. This is said to be equals to 1 minus sine of x. So we're supposed to show that the left-hand side is equals to the right-hand side. If we decide to take the left-hand side, we're going to have... So let me show you something. What I'm realizing first is that on the numerator, I have cos of x and cos of x, which I can take as a common factor, right? In fact, I can take cos of x to the power 2 as a common factor in the numerator. If I do that, I'm going to have cos of x to the power 2, and then I'm going to be left with cos of x to the power 2. Because cos of x to the power 2 multiplied by cos of x to the power 2 uh, will give us cos of x, everything to the power 4, right? And then plus sine x squared, okay? We're dividing everything by 1 plus sine of x. So cos of square x and sine of x squared... Uh, will give us 1, that is a uh, identity, okay? So we're going to be left with cos squared x divided by 1 plus sine of x. But we know that cos of squared x plus sine of squared x is equals to 1. So cos of x squared is just 1 minus sine of x squared, okay? Divided by 1 plus sine of x. 1 minus sine of x squared is a difference of two squares. So we can expand this and get 1 minus sine of x multiplied by 1 plus sine of x. Everything divided by 1 plus sine of x. So 1 plus sine of x on the denominator will cancel out with 1 plus sine of x on the numerator. We are only left with 1 minus sine of x. So as you can clearly see, uh, the left-hand side is equal to the right-hand side. They are both equal to 1 minus sine of x. That is 5.2.1. Let's take a look at 5.3.2. So in 5.3.2, we are supposed to find the general solution of sine 48 multiplied by cos of x minus cos of 48 multiplied by sine of x being equals to cos of 2x. Obviously, we can narrow this down. We know that we have an identity that can help us with that, right? That will just be equals to uh, sine of 48 minus x we know that for sure if you expand the sine of 48 minus x you get this so they are equals to each other sine of 48 minus x will be equals to cos of 2x so we're gonna have sine of 48 minus x being equals to we can write cos of 2x as sine 90 minus 2x so if sine of 48 minus x is equals to sine of 90 minus 2x, then 48 minus x should be equals to 90 minus 2x. So we're going to have 48 minus x being equals to 90 minus 2x. If we take minus 2x to the left-hand side, we're going to have x. 90 minus 48 is 42. So x is equal to 42 plus k multiplied by 3 sigisti because it is a general solution. We are not given a certain interval we are supposed to respect. So that is 5.3.2. Uh, the last question that we're going to answer is 5.4. 
So in 5.4, we're supposed to write sine 3x plus sine x divided by cos 2x plus 1 as a single trigonometric ratio. So with only sine, cos, or tan. That's what we want. Okay? So take a look at this. We have sine of 3x. We don't have any identity that we can use on sine of 3x. So it's better if we break it apart into sine of 2x plus x. If we do that, we're going to have sine of 2x plus x plus sine of x divided by cos of 2x. So let's just leave cos of 2x as it is for this step. Let's focus on the numerator. So we're going to have cos of 2x plus 1. If we expand sine of 2x plus 1, uh, this will give us sine of 2x cos x, okay? Plus sine of x cos 2x plus sine of x. We just expanded sine of 2x plus x. Uh, everything divided by cos of 2x. So for this step, let's write cos of 2x as it is again. So we're going to have cos of 2x plus 1. Now we're going to further simplify our numerator. Okay, we have sine of 2x, which we can write it in another form. The same is true with cos 2x, right? Cos 2x is equal to a couple of things. So we can also change cos of 2x. Right, we're going to change sine of 2x to 2 sine, so 2 sine x cos of x. So that is sine of 2x. We are still multiplying with cos x. So we have cos x right here plus sine of x. Now we're going to change cos 2x to 2 cos square x minus 1 plus sine of x. Everything divided by. So now we are going to change the denominator. I'm going to show you how. Cos of 2x is also equal to 2 cos of x everything squared minus 1 okay and then we have this plus 1 right here obviously minus 1 plus 1 that will give us 0 on the numerator we're gonna have 2 sine of x cos square x plus 2 cos square x sine of x and then we're gonna have sine of x Multiply by minus 1. So that will be minus sine of x plus sine of x. Clearly, minus sine of x plus sine of x will give us 0. So we are dividing by 2 cos of x everything squared. Okay, let's take a look at the numerator. On the numerator, we have 2 sine x cos of x everything squared plus 2 sine x cos of x everything squared so this is just 4 sine of x cos let me write let me start with cos instead this is 4 cos of x everything squared multiplied by sine of x divided by 2 cos of x everything squared okay 4 divided by 2, that is 2. Cos of x squared uh, will cancel out with, the, with that term on the numerator. So we are only left with 2 sine of x. And this is um, the expression we are given as a single trigonometric ratio.